Thanks so much to this commenter for suggesting this video topic. The red panda is a small animal compared to the more famous giant panda, much smaller in fact. The giant panda is 2 to 3 feet tall at the shoulders and weighs 150 to 220 pounds, while the red panda weighs only 8 to 17 pounds and is only 2 feet long without including its tail. The panda name is believed to come from the Nepali word ponya, which means bamboo eater or bamboo footed. Despite sharing the panda name, the red panda is not actually closely related to the giant panda. The giant panda is a member of the Ursidae or bear family and is closely related to other bears like the grizzly bear. The red panda is the only remaining member of its family, Alluridae. Their burnt orange colored fur consists of a soft undercoat and long coarse hairs over top. Their distinctive color works as camouflage for them in the fir tree canopies where they commonly live. Fir tree branches are covered with clumps of reddish brown moss and white lichen which makes the red panda easily blend in. There are two different types of red panda. The Himalayan red panda which lives in the mountains of northern India, Tibet, Bhutan, and Nepal, and the Chinese red panda which lives in southern China. They live in high altitude temperate forests with bamboo understories. Red pandas are omnivores, although 95% of their diet is bamboo. They will forage for food at night because they are nocturnal. Their diet includes bamboo, roots, grasses, fruits, insects, and grubs. Although uncommon, they are known to occasionally kill and eat small birds and mammals as well. Their primary predators are snow leopards and martens. They have retractable claws which they will use to climb to escape from predators. They spend most of their lives in trees which is also where they sleep. Red pandas are solitary animals who only only interact with others when they mate during the breeding season. As such, females exclusively take care of the young who are born in litters of 1 to 4. Red pandas have a fragile habitat especially due to their reliance on bamboo, so their habitat is shrinking year after year. Red pandas are also heavily trafficked which is further harming their wild populations. Shrinking populations are leading to inbreeding which may reduce the number of viable offspring. A study conducted in 2001 found that 79% of the red pandas were also found within 100 meters of the nearest body of water, so a good water source may also be crucial to their already strict habitat requirements. These problems have all led to the red panda being endangered and severely threatened by extinction. Estimates place the number of wild red pandas at only 3,000, and most of these are living in small protected areas in national parks. Numerous captive breeding programs have been started to help counteract their declining populations. Because red pandas live high in cold mountain climates, they are used to keeping warm with their thick fur and their tail which they use as a blanket. However, on especially cold days, red pandas will sunbathe high in the canopy to warm themselves up while they sleep during the day. If you enjoyed this video, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button for more video essays like this one. Leave a like and comment what you'd like to see next. Many of my video ideas have already been suggested by viewers, including this one. I am so grateful for your continued support. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you learned something.